first time speaking here at One Young World. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Queen Carissa from Botswana. Whenever we think of a perpetrator, we attach a certain face to this, a face that looks like a monster. But sometimes it's someone that you look up to, someone who's supposed to care, someone who's supposed to love you, or someone who visited your home. As I stood there, I was filled with emotions I never knew existed. I was full of so much confusion, unbearable pain, and anger. He would put roofies in my water bottle and molest me throughout the night. I only got it from the soreness and bruises in the morning. There were so many losses attached to this violence, including the loss of my self-confidence, my dignity, my self-worth, and my voice. For so many years, I was voiceless. The nine-year-old in me was terrified and could not speak out. But after, so many, after years of getting help, I decided that I'll use my voice as a way of helping the next victim to come out. The fact is, one in three women worldwide experience domestic violence at one point in their lifetime. In Botswana alone, two-thirds of women experience domestic violence every year. That is 67%. It got me thinking of something that one great man once said, that you should be the change that you want to see. Hence, the Dream Hub project, an initiative that was formed on the premise that every individual deserves to live a, deserves to live a dignified life. We support marginalized groups, specifically survivors of gender-based violence and teen mothers. We provide a platform for intergenerational dialogue, and we link them or connect them with mentors and sponsors across the country so that they, they can help them get an education and break off the cycle of violence. I want you to think about this. When you oppress a woman, you oppress the entire family. You oppress communities and societies. I pledge to continuously speak out against all forms of violence. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. Thank you.